Good afternoon, or good morning whenever you're watching this on YouTube. Right, we're going to just go over a quick video on how to download and basically install the latest incarnation of Linux Mint. Obviously, as you can see already, I've downloaded it and I've downloaded the USB pen drive. So, to get the latest version of Mint, go to linuxmint.com forward slash download dot php and then choose the... Um, version you want to use. In my case I went for the top ver I in my case I've gone for the version that includes the codex and everything else. Obviously um the reason I did that is I want to play DVDs. Instead of burning it to um C D I've gone and downloaded from obviously here pen pendrive.linux.com the pendrive creator so let's have a look at how you use that to um, get your ISO image onto a USB flash drive so I'll just minimize that so I click on the universal pen installer then I open folder contents which gives me my downloads folder which I'll just shove over there let me find what I'm after so obviously as you can see I've got various incarnations of this. You may be wondering, yes, my Linux machine currently has Ubuntu 14.04 on it. But I really hate Unity, so um I'm going down the route of putting on Mint. So let's have a quick look. So obviously you fire up the install tool. USC in my case with my machine basically says do you want to allow it to run I click yes agree to the obligatory license select the distribution click browse and obviously I've got as you can see I've got minute mint 16 and now I've just downloaded mint 17 so obviously I select mint 17 click open I will select the relevant, I'll just go onto my computer and check for, yeah, it's drive, drive H, which is my pen drive. So I select drive H, tell it to format, just to make sure it's in fact 32. Then we hit create. It'll ask you, are you sure you want to proceed? Click yes. It will close that and obviously it will proceed to format the pen drive and then copy across so we'll just let this process run I will just pause this a second while we wait for that to finish right there's nine seconds to go on this so we'll just let it finish Obviously, once you've created your pen drive with your bootable install Linux, obviously you get the installation dump message, click close. And if we go to the pen drive now, we should find obviously we have a Linux, a bootable Linux disk, or bootable Linux install run off the pen drive. I mean, you may be asking yourself, why am I going down the route of putting Linux on? when obviously as you can see I'm a Windows user and my job is as a Windows developer the answer is my simple answer is Windows 8 and 8.1 I think they're fine on tablets but I've run both Windows 8 and 8.1 and 8.1.1 update as desktop operating systems on the machine that's going to be turned over to Linux which currently got Ubuntu on it and basically I think on my surface Windows 8 is alright 8.1 whatever you want to call it it's fine as a tablet operating system but as a desktop operating system I don't like it well sorry that was just me having a little rant but all in all as I said that's a quick demo of how to um, get to download Ubuntu and also get it onto a pen drive so in the next part of the video obviously I'll 
set up the PC again with Ubuntu on it, what's got Ubuntu on with the KVM underneath my desk, and then I will show you how to go about installing Linux Mint. Thank you for watching and leave any comments below.